Is it time to buy bonds yet? Well, we may be getting close. That's today on 3 Minutes on Markets and Money. One of the questions we've been getting a lot lately is, is it time to buy bonds? Well, maybe not yet, but we're probably getting pretty close. Look, there's a couple of reasons why. The Federal Reserve came out yesterday talking about needing to hike rates faster because of higher inflation. In fact, it is looking like now we may get a 50 basis point hike in May if everything kind of remains status quo between now and then. And Powell's concern is, is that they need to move faster to combat inflation that is remaining a bit more persistent than they originally expected. Of course, what they didn't expect previously was a war going on between Russia and Ukraine, sanctions that are now impacting oil prices, wheat prices, everything else that's feeding through to that inflationary pressure. That expectation, of course, higher inflation has been pushing yields lower here as of late and particularly in bond prices. And that's, of course, become an opportunity to potentially add bonds. Well, why is that? Well, first thing is, is that when the Fed is hiking rates and reducing liquidity, bonds tend to perform well because why? Well, that is because as the Fed hikes interest rates and begins to tighten monetary policy, that slows economic growth. As the economy slows, money moves from risk, being assets such as equities, into safety such as bonds because they preserve capital over time. Currently right now, if we take a look at a technical chart of bonds, and this is a chart of TLT, that price of TLT is now more than two standard deviations below the 50-day moving average. That's something that doesn't occur very often. And when it does occur, it doesn't tend to last for a very long time. In fact, we've seen this previously at periods that have led to reflexive rallies in bond prices. But what we're looking for here is a longer term increase in bond prices as well. That would correspond, of course, with a slowing of economic activity and this risk off attitude that occurs when you have higher interest rates. This is, is likely yet to come, but historically speaking, when the Fed is, is reducing monetary policy, tightening policy in general, reducing their balance sheet, stopping QE, rates tend to fall all because of this risk off rotation from equities into bonds. So we're probably not quite there just yet. Markets are very oversold. We are close to picking up a buy signal here on bonds, which would give us at least a tradable rally in bonds short term. Um, we're starting to see positive money flows coming into bonds as well. So again, that's an encouraging sign that despite the fact that TLT is selling off here, we are seeing positive money flows and a very oversold condition. This really, this oversold condition on multiple levels really sets up for a decent reflexive action. Now, from a trading perspective, this is a setup for a short-term trade in bonds. Buy bonds today, look to sell them on any type of rally in TLT between 130 and 135 would be a, a likely exit point right around that 50-day moving average because that's been good strong resistance for TLT here for a while. Longer term though, we're looking for rates to go back towards zero on the 10-year treasury as the economy begins to move into recessionary territory. That'll be later this year or first part of next year. But as we start to see the yield curves inverting really across the board, starting to see a real slowing of economic growth, bonds are going to start to get a much stronger bid. And from a long-term perspective, there's a lot of capital appreciation built up in bonds right now as we move into a recessionary environment. I'm your host, Lance Roberts, for three minutes on markets and money. See you back here tomorrow.